right, what's up guys? We're back for another video. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? We're back for another video today and we are going to be talking about which is better, the manual or automatic transmission? Manual. The three transmissions that we're gonna be talking about are the manual transmission, obviously, uh, a dual clutch transmission, um, and a traditional automatic, whether that's a CVT or um, something along those lines. Right away, we are gonna knock off the traditional no, automatic, automatic or the, or the CVT transmission which is which is pretty much the transmissions that you would find in a um, like a Corolla or or anything like that um, those are never fun and if you have the option between that and a manual get the manual where it becomes a little bit tricky is when you have the option between a dual clutch transmission and a manual transmission and that's what this video is about <laughs> I just build on myself <laughs> my argument with like, oh, it, it's like so much faster on a track compared to a manual. For me, that's, it's not like an invalid argument. If you're looking for the overall fastest thing, if you go to a track and you're like looking for like that, the extra time in a lap, and that's why you buy an automatic, like you already have to be able to completely like drive balls off an automatic. Yeah. I think that argument's only valid if you like if you want to go faster, so you buy an automatic or a, or a DCT or DSG, whatever. Yeah. Whatever it is, PDK. Yeah. <laughs> ah! oh, that's the car I saw yesterday. That's sick, man. I haven't seen one of those before. <laughs> I've honestly never seen an Aventador on the road. Uh, that was like a chrome blue Aventador. Pretty um, sick. That looked I'm not amazing. A, I'm not a huge Lamborghini. Yeah. Though. That was actually pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, so getting back to what we were talking about. The DSG, it, it blips everything for you as opposed to a manual. You have to be able to cross your feet over. Yeah. And you already have to have that muscle memory down and understand how to match the revs and how to be able to use the um, engine brake and all that stuff. As opposed to when you're in an automatic or, or like a dual clutch, something like that, that's all sorted for you. This is why for me it always comes down to like it really just, it depends on what kind of driving experience you want. It's there again. Oh, there's, an, oh, oh, there's, there's two of them. There's a hurricane. Coming from a daily driver that it's a manual, when I get into a dual clutch car, I still find it kind of fun, especially when you feel that the the farts from the upshifts going through the gears. Seriously, it really is addicting. Um, in a different way than a manual transmission and not quite as fun, but it does have its own amusement uh, that you'll never really be able to get. It's still fun to have that manual. control. Yeah. I know. You lose control with having a pedal taken away from you, but it's still nice being able to control at least yeah. what gear you're in. A lot, of, a lot of people say that if you get a dual clutch transmission, then the car is just automatically boring. And I would definitely say that is not true whatsoever. You're no. still gonna, yeah, unless you're just. I mean, you can make any, you can make a manual boring too if you're just driving around, granny shit like a, I am right now. There's a lot of awful manual transmissions yeah. out there. The other thing is too, from what I understand, is that maintaining a dual clutch transmission can be more expensive than a manual, um, just because I guess they're more sim more simple parts in a manual transmission, whereas dual clutches can get a little bit more technical and can cost a bit more to repair down the road when it's out of warranty. Yeah. All right, so when it comes down to it, when you're looking at either the manual transmission or the, we're gonna completely ignore the automatic or the traditional automatic transmission, but just go right to a dual clutch transmission. If you're going for straight out speed and you don't care about how fun it is to get to that top speed, then you're gonna to wanna to go with a dual clutch transmission because you're never gonna be able to replicate the same gear, uh, the same gear shifts you would be able to with, with the manual transmission. My, but if you're wanting the more enjoyable uh, driving experience, you're always gonna get that from the manual transmission. Oh, and I saw it. Oh, oh yeah. down, down to the beach or And something. there's a GTR right there too. Oh my god. Okay, so we saw a Huracan Ventador. <laughs> We've got an SLR McLaren. <laughs> yeah, this and, is nuts. Uh, GTR. Make sure you let us know in the comment section down below what you would prefer the manual transmission or the dual clutch automatic. Alright, so we hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more to come, and we'll see you soon. Darling, you.